In the first round of AFC Champions League elite matches, there was the first meeting since 2010 between Esteghlal of the Islamic Republic of Iran and Al Garafa of Qatar. Esteghlal, led by coach Javad Nekunam, hadn't won in their previous two domestic matches, but were looking to use home advantage to make the perfect start to their AFC elite campaign. For Al Garafa, Feriani Sassi would wear the captain's armband, having scored the only goal in his team's Champions League elite qualifying win back in August. High profile Spanish signing Jose Lu would begin up front as he began his bid to add the Asian Champions League crown to his European triumph with Real Madrid. The hosts in blue would get off on the front foot on the night, and it took just four minutes before a break down the right led to Ramin Rezaian's cross being turned in by the unfortunate Abdullah Youssef. Jalal Lidian Masharipov was applying the pressure in the box, but Yusuf turned it into his own net. It was the perfect start for Estegal in their first Asian Champions League game since the 2020-2021 season. And after 20 minutes, Algarafa would have another scare with a delivery from the right-hand side. Didier Ndong sent the ball into the box. Keeper Khalifa Ndiaye spilled it right onto Gustavo Blanco. But fortunately for the guests, it would eventually roll wide of the goal. Algarafa were pushed back for much of the first 45 minutes and didn't have many opportunities to get forwards Hosselu or Sassi into the game, but the latter would at least have one chance to try his luck. He looked up in plenty of space and took aim from way out. And with five minutes to go before half-time, he hit the top of the net, but no more. The scoreline there for 1-0 to Esteghlal, the hosts at the interval. And the home team had been the better of the two sides. They resumed their dominance after the break. Rezaian with the free kick. But from the dead ball situation, his shot never really looked like troubling Khalifa Ndi in the Algarafa goal. Gustavo Blanco would have the next chance to keep Ndi busy, though. He outpaced and outmuscled the Algarafa defence, but the goalkeeper rushed out to clear the danger in the 64th minute, keeping the scoreline at just 1-0 going into the closing stages. With a little over 10 minutes of normal time remaining, Esteghlal would finally be able to extend their lead. Mahdad Mohammadi clipped the ball through for Ramin Rezaian on the right-hand side, and the Iran international did the rest in some style, getting into the box, nutmegging one opponent, and firing low beneath the goalkeeper's glove to make it 2-0 for Esteglal. He had an option in the middle, went himself. Fleet footwork from the round fullback though. Not making one player, making his way into the area. He looked up, had a cool head, finished himself to double the lead. And there was worse to come for Algarafa. Three Esteglal substitutes linked up. In the closing stages on the left-hand side, Kakuta played in Jalali, and Jalali picked out Arash Rezavand, who slotted the ball home with a little bit of pinball on its way into the net. 2-0 the game three in the 88th minute of the game. Two defenders back and the keeper, but neither able to stop it, going from Rezavand's boot and into the back of the net. 3-0 it would remain until the end. The hosts never really allowed Al Garafa into the game, but eventually ran up the score courtesy of those two late goals, making it a happy return to the continent's biggest stage for Esteglal.